Hi Capricorn and welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you in terms of love and romance. It is going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So this reading once again is intended for Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching as well. Let's give the cards a shuffle and see what messages are coming in. Okay, so we've got strong air energy here, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, you may be dealing with an air sign here, um, but this also of course governs mental energy, so some of you may be giving a situation a lot of thought, you've been thinking, overthinking in fact, analyzing, even over analyzing, okay, it feels like there is someone around you here who may have gone into a bit of a hermit mode, silent mode, there is someone who I feel like you're doing a lot of thinking about, but it feels like this person isn't necessarily communicating, I'm not seeing a lot of communication here. In fact, I feel like this person here could be a little bit egotistical or even a little bit narcissistic in a sense that I feel like someone here may be playing games with you, mind games, to be honest with you, because it feels like that this person may purposely be withholding certain information from you or even communicating with you purely because they know that it pains you. They know that, you know, their silence drives you mad. It drives you crazy. So the intention to get under, the intention is to get under your skin. And I feel like in a sense it is mission accomplished, right? So they know what they're doing and they know it's going to hurt you. But it feels like this person is almost like, are they wanting to retaliate or... To me, it does feel like this person is hurting it themselves. And, you know, as they say, hurt people do go around, to, you know, hurting others because they have this tendency, guys, to project their hurt outwards. But I do feel like there's a bit of emotional immaturity and even like juvenile behavior with this person uh, because the Page of Swords can be a little bit like that, a little bit emotional, a little bit infantile at times. So I feel like, yeah, this person needs a little bit of you know, maturing up to do. They need a little bit of growing up to do. And this is just mind games, head games that they're playing here. Instead of telling you what's bothering them or instead of telling you, you know, what concerns them, they decide to retaliate. They are a little bit spiteful as well, guys, because they feel like something you might have said may have rubbed them the wrong way. So they feel like this is how they're going to respond. So do not feed into that immaturity do not feed into it because I feel like the more that you react to this the more that they're going to you know persist with this kind of behavior and this immaturity so I feel like it's probably best to just especially if someone here is ignoring you okay it, narcissist um, it's very narcissistic of people to do that like to give you the silent treatment here so your best bet is to not go chasing this person. Don't bombard them with a lot of text messages because they are thinking about you. Okay, Capricorn? They're just not communicating with you. You know, that's the point of the game. They're thinking about you. How could they not? You know, they might have blocked you. They've gone into silent mode. So what they're doing is deliberate. Okay, so there's been a lot of thought there, obviously. Um, but it's just that they're not communicating here. So someone here, yeah, it, I definitely feel like their silent treatment here is, is to retaliate or to let you feel a sense of pain that they're feeling, that they're going through. Or it's even just their, the fact that for some of you, maybe this person hasn't necessarily thought it out, uh, like thought it out as much as they should have. Because it feels like maybe this person is just completely unaware of, you know, how they come across how their words or the con or their actions here have consequences. 
So someone here, as I've mentioned, there is that emotional immaturity or juvenile behavior. I feel like you're wanting to work on something, okay, with the Three of Pentacles. This is you, you know, you're wanting to work towards shared goals, shared intentions with a certain romantic energy. You want, you're wanting to work through things, okay? You're wanting to address any pain, any insecurities, anything, you know, any concerns or issues that you may have with this person or with the, you know, within this connection. I feel like you want to fix it. You want to work through it, okay? But obviously you understand that you, you can't go at it alone. So you want your person to do, the, to do the same. But your person feels as though they're probably not responding in the same way that you are. They're probably not as enthusi sorry, enthusiastic about, you know, fixing something or working on something as you are, okay? So look, for some of you, I feel like this is yet to happen though. This connecting energy is yet to go into hermit mode or ghost mode even someone might completely you know disappear on you as well for some of you some of you are experiencing this right now as i do the reading okay someone here has gone hermit mode silent mode ghost mode they've gone casper on you here and would, they've just completely cut ties no communication some of you have been sending messages to this person but they've not been responding Yes, they've been reading your messages, but they've not been responding it. Strong third party situation is indicated there, as well as, you know, mental deception, trickery, deceit with the presence of the Seven of Swords. So some of you, the truth is not what you know it to be. Some of you actually, you've met someone or you've connected with someone whom in fact is already attached. In fact, they may even be married or engaged to someone else. They're in a committed relationship to someone else. I say committed, but there's not a lot of commitment there, right? If that's how they're acting. So... And this is why some of you have been ghosted or this person here has just completely disappeared and just fallen off your radar. I don't know if suddenly they've remembered that they're in a relationship or they're married. I don't know how that just sort of, you know, has come about. But you're not aware of it because they played, they played a very good game with you here, okay? They were very good at deceiving and telling you lies and fabricating a truth and telling you a version of a truth. But we all know that truth doesn't have versions, but you are definitely dealing with someone who, I mean, you know, the suit of swords here is mental energy and with the seven of swords, I mean, this person is a natural wordsmith. So they knew all the things to say. They knew all the right things to say. They knew what you wanted to hear. Um, then, you know, they've told you what you wanted to hear. They've told you everything except the truth. Okay. So some of you, you have been dealing with someone who coming into this, they've never had their best, the best connection, like the best intentions for you. And the fact that they're so readily and easily just ghosted or stopped communication, you know, those type of people, those type of energies, they have little to no regard for other people's emotions. So that in itself is very telling. So if this person comes back um, and if they do not have a good enough excuse, I don't know, you guys need to think twice about whether or not you you know you're interested in entertaining this it's very important that you do also um if this person does try to reconnect with you it's very important that you do hold them accountable okay um for what they did if not they're very likely to repeat it again okay especially with the repetition of the swords here now i also see that someone may come in here after withholding like withholding communication and being silent here someone may come in with some painful communication a message here that might hurt you that might be very emotional that might elicit a very strong emotional reaction within you okay and for some of you you, you might find out that this person is married or you know attached and committed to someone else here you might not even actually find out through them you might even yeah, it may not be them directly telling you. It could be someone else here, like a connecting energy. Are you doing the spying here with the Page of Swords? Are you spying on someone here who's ghosted you or who's disappeared? Or is this person here sort of just, you know, checking tabs just to see what you're doing? If that's the case, it's for them, it's like a sense of control and power. But if it's you, I mean, is this person even worth it, guys? You are dealing with someone a little bit stubborn here. A little bit stubborn. Very strong-headed with the Empress energy. But there is deceit here, guys. There is deceit. And 
It could be yeah, dishonesty, it could even be disloyalty, as we spoke about earlier with the third party situation. Um, someone here may be telling you what you want to hear rather than what you actually need to hear, guys. So when you look at the situation, try and look at the truth of it, okay? And try and tell yourself the truth and not necessarily a fabricated, you know, falsified version of it. All right, Cappies, and these are your messages. Thanks, guys, for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting. I'll be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.